for another Swarthor commentary for you. Today we're in the new operation, Karagas Palace, taking on the third boss, Foreman Crusher. To get things kicked off, have your tank jump in and grab aggro on the Foreman, and have the rest of the group quickly clean up the ads that are there at the start of the fight. Once this is done, they can just switch back over and start DPSing on Crusher. So he's got a couple of main abilities you got to watch out for. One is called Rock Throw, where he'll grab a rock from the ground, fling it into the air, and it'll land on the party. There will be rock. a red reticule oh on guess. the ground where the rock is going to land, so just make sure your party's aware of this and they get out of the way of the reticule before the rock lands. So there you can see there's another rock throw. Just how the group focus on DPS at this point. His next mechanic is going to call is going to be called frenzy. Here you can see him going into a frenzy. This ca causes the foreman to start hitting extremely fast and for a lot of damage. So be ready right, for I this. The key to making it through uh, this phase is to have your tank rotating his cooldowns All right, it's over. and also having <coughs> your party members <coughs> put their him. defensive cooldowns on the tank for this phase. So the way we handle this part is to have the sniper drop his defensive shield on top of the tank for the first frenzy and then we'll have for the next one we'll have the marauder throw his defensive cooldown onto the onto the tank also make sure your tank doesn't blow all of his main cooldowns on the first frenzy just hit one hit one main defensive cooldown and then maybe hit a defensive trinket for the first frenzy and then rotate your other defensive cooldowns and your next trinket for the next frenzy Ads. here's the next phase pack of ads will come out just quickly gather those up and burn them down it's not a problem one yeah, thing you want to watch is. out for during this phase is the rock throws because your group is probably going to be kind of grouping up to take care of the ads and the rocks are going to be coming mine. right down in the middle so watch out for that here you can see another phase of frenzy there comes the sniper shield that was really nice to this phase it made it a breeze I guess I'll pop a trinket do some beeps alright so he'll often reset his aggro on this fight so when he switches away from the tank just have the tank quickly taunt him back and grab aggro from here you just really want to focus on your DPS and do as much as possible there you can see another ability he calls he smashes the ground knocks you back just charge back in and make sure you have threat yep. Alright, there's not a whole, a whole lot else he does. That's really the main fight. From here, you're just going to keep rotating the same mechanics over and over. So the keys are just be All prepared right, for the frenzies, watch goes. out for the rock throws, and be ready for the adds when they come I, out. There is none. <clears throat> so here he's about to go into another phase of frenzy. To, I have to dump all my stacks of rage on it. And when he does this, there's also going to be oh, a, uh, another uh, ad pack that comes out of the back. So be ready for that. Right, mine, mine's out. One thing you want to do here is make sure that you have uh, the healing assignments correct because you can see we have a pack of ads out and he's going into frenzy. So when this happens you don't want either your tank or the group that's taking care of the ads to be overlooked as far as heals go. So just make sure you've got that laid out at the beginning before the fight starts. Alright here comes another rock throw. Well, this, this guy be just want to avoid hard that. And we're not too sure if this boss has an enraged well, timer. I'm end. assuming Bonus he does. So you do want to focus on dropping as much DPS as possible at all times. Um, but we didn't make it to that point. Uh, we were able to take him down, so Mechanics we're not sure if he probably, does have an array. Uh, if I had to guess, there's more ads. Constantly doing another rock throw. Maybe. And just lay into the DPS. Execute. Here you're going to see uh, another, another phase of Frenzy. Pop cooldowns. Uh, hit your trinkets. Also, you want to make sure oh, your tank mine. constantly keeps his damage uh, mitigating abilities up on the boss. For example, if you're Juggernaut, you want to keep your smash down. You want to keep you hit your retaliation as soon as it comes oh, up. Oh, uh, pay, you want to keep pay, your force scream up pay, at all times for the absorb shield. So those I'm things are really important. <laughs> you know, just to mitigate as much damage as possible. Because right, on fights like this, it's really important to get Group maximum damage mitigation. Watch out for the rock. There you can see another Roof pack of ads, ads coming in. You want to really gone. focus on cleaning up this last pack of ads as fast as possible because you re you got to get Man, back we, to DPS get and get Crusher up. down. Because like, you will eventually wear your resources uh, thin as far as healing and stuff goes the longer this fight goes on. Alright, avoid the last couple rock throws here. <clears throat> Pretty sloppy. 
at 15%. I think uh, he only has one more phase of Frenzy at this point. So just be ready for that. Alright, here it goes. Pop your cooldown as a tank. Pop a trinket. Um, I think we here we had the Marauder go ahead and throw Whoa. another uh, defensive ability on, onto the tank. You? There you can see our Assassin DPS right, we'll behind we'll the boss die. Not we're not sure how he died. Um, we're not sure if that's mm, a mechanic we're not right. aware of or if it just glitched out. But that's really it. Finish him off. And you can collect your loots. Alright. That was Foreman Crusher. It's the third boss in Karaga's Palace. Hope Oops. you guys enjoyed. If so, throw me a like and sub.